I can guarantee you one thing. The person who's lived through a bad drinking habit, they've come out the other side of that and they've started to work their way through it. They've suffered through all the crap, all the rubbish that you have to go through, all the rubbish that everyone has to go through to get there. Well, they're definitely going to be in a much, much better position. And their potential, because they've gone through all of that, has just skyrocketed. You know, they have to push themselves through these tough times. We were talking about this the other day. Um, I'm not sure when you're going to see that video, but we were talking about how people who have never drank alcohol have got a certain advantage because we've only got so much time and energy in life and you know they're using their time or they have the possibility of using their time and energy to a much better effect no guarantees in that but you know when you stop drinking you're not only eliminating a pointless and destructive habit your life is going to change in so many ways because you made this one change happen so in this video i wanted to share with you some of the ways that my life has changed how overall it reinforces the decision that I took to stop drinking alcohol, to put myself through all the work that I needed to do. And I'm most certainly on the right path now. That's the way I feel. And that's the way I feel for anyone who stops drinking alcohol, that it gives you that opportunity to, uh, to get there. Do you know what I mean? I just wanted to talk about a few ways in this video, how, how my life has changed. And the first way is just in the overall experiences of life. You know, when you stop drinking, you have a lot more time and energy at your disposal, like I said. Um, just to do the things that you want, to think the things that you need to think. Life experiences, both positive and negative. That gives you, a, uh, I believe, some of the most valuable lessons that you can have in life. You know, the things you do every day, the life um, that you live every day without this poison in your brain. The possibilities that that opens up for you the potential of a clear mind. You know, your everyday encounters are gonna change. Your relationships, your achievements, your failures, when you have clarity of thinking day after day after day. And when you combine that with a growth mindset, you gain insights and you develop a much better understanding of yourself and of the world around you. And the second way my life has changed has through education and knowledge, gathering knowledge about what I want to do in life, you know. I tried formal education. I did half of a psychology degree with the Open University. And that didn't really work out for me too well. You know, it was, I found it very narrow for what I wanted to learn. And again, I'm thinking mainly about the best use of my time, the best use of my energy. And I always learned more and I felt like I was progressing more when I just set my own curriculum when I was studying myself you know not even calling it studying when I was reading the things that I wanted to read I like to read a lot and you know one book leads to another book and before you know it you're building up a pretty in-depth knowledge about something right you know we're all about I'm trying to get people all the time to try and focus on one thing you know for me it's been focusing on habits trying to um, deal with my own habits trying to get rid of my own bad habits and then obviously to teach it with other people so you know there's nobody telling you what books you should be reading or what opinions you should be having you know there's nothing wrong with listening to other people I'm not saying that but you know sometimes it's you know you have a, an idea about what it is that you want to learn and from there you're using your own experience right you get an intuition for what makes sense based on your own experiences and sometimes you have to treat your brain a little bit like a compost heap. So you throw lots of information in there, lots of stuff in there, and you just let it do its thing. And eventually you'll find that a lot of good stuff comes out, a lot of original stuff comes out. You know, I always loved reading and learning. I just wasn't, or I couldn't apply myself properly when I was a drinker. You know, once I got that clear mind, once I found that I could get up every day, I could plan my day, I was looking forward to the day and I didn't have that hangover stopping me from doing things. I found that getting that knowledge and keeping it in my head was a whole lot easier, right? This is something that is 
going to significantly improve your personal growth, right? You're expanding your own intellectual horizon, so to speak. You're learning new skills, and that can really help you to transform yourself and transform your place in the world, right? By the way, if you're looking to get on this journey, if you want to get sober, if you're looking to get through that first few weeks, um, we've still got the uh, the course down below. It's the beginner's guide to getting and staying sober, right? Just it's a, a starter course. This one, the links in the description. It's free. It's a short primer course, and it will get you onto that ladder, give you an idea of what we're doing. If you want more structured and uh, more comprehensive help from me, then you might consider joining us over on the Habits V2 program. Right? This is where I spend most of my time, most of my energy usually in the background creating stuff, but uh, I spend a lot of time you know, trying to, um, we do a lot of one-on-one -on -one calls, we do a lot of group sessions, that kind of stuff. But there's a, um, we have a, a video course called the, the Masterclass, and that's very structured. It takes you through from preparation, two weeks of preparation, all the way through, through the coping phases, through getting rid of and dismantling the old bad habits, building new habits that are gonna help you to, uh, to live that best possible life and for me the best thing is to get to that first year alcohol free milestone uh, it's one of the best best milestones that you're going to get to in your life i still remember that first year that i got to amazing so the link is in the description for that also if you're interested now the third way that my life has changed since i stopped drinking is just in my relationships and how i interact socially my relationships the close personal ones with my my partner with my family and how I go out like I said I started out this journey just being shy so uh, you know interacting with others forming connections building relationships I think those can be profound sources of learning you know it's not just in the people that you associate with and your interactions with those people it's also about those people that you're not associating with anymore you know, that's what I found. You know, just as the right people can help you to learn and to grow, the wrong people can pull you backwards. They can keep your mind static uh, or worse, you know. Um, I was lucky when I moved to Spain. I left a lot of my drinking buddies behind. That was about a year before I stopped drinking alcohol. So we're talking 11 years ago now. So that helped me. But I was in the process of building new drinking relationships so I was glad that those weren't firmly embedded. Um, it makes it a bit more difficult, but the fact that you can choose your relationships, the fact that you can say to yourself, are these people here for me or uh, are they, do we, do we share anything else other than the alcohol? And if the answer is no to that, then those people have to go, right? Next thing is your, I think your ability to reflect and to have the time and energy to put into that reflection, uh, into discovering new things about yourself, uncovering the things that were already there. You know, we talk about the onion principle on Habits V2. Uh, stopping drinking is like you get an onion and you peel back that crinkly outside skin of the onion. That's when you stop drinking. That's the, the alcohol part. And then you uncover gradually layers of depth that you can peel back right and some of this stuff you have to work on some of the it is the the old habits that you want to get rid of behaviors that you want to get rid of values that and principles that are not serving you well these days right old ways of thinking that you want to change other layers are long forgotten things that you wanted to do in your life right skills that you let go of good things from your past that you might want to revisit and it's so much easier to engage in introspection and self-reflection without the alcohol being in your brain, right? You know, it's much easier to be self-aware, right? It's, uh, you know, a lot easier to see your strengths and weaknesses, uh, to see what they are, and to learn from what you're thinking, what you're feeling, and how you're acting. You know, this is a process that really can lead to personal growth, that leads to really meaningful insights about yourself which leads to gradually building the life that you want to live next i want to touch on life's 
challenges and just the adversities in life. You know, it certainly hasn't been plain sailing since I stopped drinking alcohol. A lot of people think if they stop drinking alcohol, it's going to cure all the problems. It's not. You know, I stopped drinking um, and life is not like that where, you know, life is about challenges. Life is about overcoming obstacles. Life, you know, learning and growth. If you're trying to grow, you know, if you want to put yourself into a box and just live in your comfort zone, you're still going to have challenges. You know, there's still challenges and obstacles with that. There's still so much more discomfort. I believe that there's so much more discomfort in when you're living in the comfort zone, you're trying to stay in that comfort zone, right? So it doesn't matter who you are, where you come from, how much money you've got in the bank, life is going to throw some curveballs at you. Now, the difference is that without alcohol, you are in a much better position to handle any challenges, any adversity that's going to come your way, any adversity that life is going to throw at you. You know, you learn a lot of lessons through discomfort. You learn so many lessons through pain. And sometimes you have to suffer to get to a certain point in your life. I think there's, there's a certain amount of suffering in stopping drinking alcohol. But the suffering, can you, you can turn up the dial, you can turn down the dial, depending on what your mindsets are, depending on what you value in life, what your principles are, depending on your where you want to go in life, what your plans are. Definitely dependent on the stories that you're telling yourself about anything in life, right? You know, nobody wants to suffer. Nobody wants to see somebody else suffering. But it's life. You know, you sometimes you have to know the, the darkness in order to understand the light. You've got to know suffering in order to understand happiness, right? Facing obstacles, taking risks, and persevering through those difficult situations. If you face up to these things, they are going to build resilience in you, right? They're going to build character in you. And these are going to give you very valuable life skills. You know, life skills that you can not only use in the thing that you're learning, but in the other things in your life, in other areas of your life. You know, when I started drinking, one of the main reasons I drank was because I was insecure, very insecure especially in certain circumstances. You know, with my mates, I was grand, but as soon as we went into different circumstances, going into uh, dealing with life in general, dealing with social situations, um, alcohol helped me to medicate those times, right, to a certain degree. And the trouble with that, with solving any problem through using the drug, is that you don't solve the problem, right? You only mask the symptoms of the problem. Uh, you're trying to avoid suffering through short-term sticky plaster solutions which is only going to bring you more suffering in the long term because of that the final way that my life has changed is through the successes and the achievements that you get because you left the alcohol behind you right you know if you just leave alcohol behind and nothing changes you've got this thing of well what am i doing this for but if you start to see progress if you start to get successes and you start to achieve things you know, you're hitting the targets that you're aiming for. You're seeing your hard work coming to fruition. You're waking up every morning and you're looking forward to that day ahead because you know you're living a good life that you've built, that you've put your hard work into and you have built, right? You're celebrating your accomplishments. You're recognizing your own personal achievements. And none of these ha things happen without um, also giving you... You know, each of these things gives you a lesson, a personal lesson about for you, right? Um, about the value of perseverance, about determination, uh, the importance of hard work, being patient, staying positive, regardless of the cha challenges that you're going to face. You know, one of the biggest barometers for me uh, of my own personal growth is through what I expect of myself, right? Success, success in life, any success in life is cumulative right? It adds up. You know, when you're successful in one area of your life, you're always presented with more opportunities for learning and growth about yourself. You're, you're always presented with more opportunities for learning and growth in that same area where you were successful. And the amazing thing about growth is that um, it can also affect other areas of your life, right? Think about how much a general sense of 
fulfillment and confidence and self-belief and self-efficacy, how that translates across into everything else that you do. So who wouldn't want to experience that kind of transformation in their life? So I'll leave it there for today. Like I said, the beginner's guide is in the, the description. If you want my help again, um, more structured help, then uh, you can come to Habits Feed too. Take care of yourself. Have a great day. Uh, and I'll speak to you in the next video. Bye for now.